Okay, guys, I am back with my next design team project for Poppiness, um, a.k.a. Susan Taylor Brown. And what I'm working on is the cover. And we've had some hiccups, but um, I have just decided that it's it's okay. Um, so I wanted to show you kind of what I did. I know I kind of showed you a little bit earlier, but um, I tried something and I kind of like the way it's turning out. Um, so I still have the back sides to do, and this is going to be one of those videos where I kind of pop in, pop out, um, depending on when it's dry. And, um, so this is the un, un, like varnished piece side. And then this is the varnish piece. Um, so what I was frustrated with is the layers weren't turning out how I wanted. Um, I really wanted kind of a stormy C type, um, base. And I used, um, it's it's like paint it's like outdoor paint but it like almost dries like it has um or goes on it's like thick like um paint with plaster in it if that makes sense kind of almost like a concrete type um but i do like it and i know the camera won't pick it up but it's ridged in here so it's got plenty of definition and i like that it the um modge podge antique picked up all the ridges in in the clear coat or in the coat so I'm gonna go with it and then we're just gonna decorate like crazy um, and this is the other one this one I really wasn't happy about but now I kind of like it um, like I said it's you can feel it and then the other reason for doing the Mod Podge is it's really rough like it's gonna snag pretty much anything I put on it because um, it does have that like concrete feel so um, I mean it's it <laughs> it took our board and really um, got it moving so I'm gonna show you kind of the changes that it makes so you can kind of see it's dull um, kind of feels rough and concretey so I know you've seen me Mod Podge before but I wanted to make sure that you guys kind of saw the process and I'm also going to show you um, kind of the wine bottle that I'm working on too and so you're gonna get both in through this entire like um, filming series um, because and I've got a really old sweatshirt on because paint and distress ink and all that today um, so yeah uh, and I think most of this one obviously um, I'm gonna this one I am gonna show you um, how I put in the um, spine because it's um, if you remember back to the purple journal I didn't show you how I did the spine and the binding so this one I will um, I'll show you how I bind in the signatures and everything on a journal like this in case you guys want to make one. Um, it se might seem daunting, but it's really, it, it's pretty easy once once you do it a time or two. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to throw on the antique Mod Podge on this stuff. And it stinks to high heaven, but I got to tell you, I love what it does to my projects. So, I mean... Again, I did say a long time ago I was going to wait till summer for it, but um, I just, guys, I really like the results that it gets. So and maybe I'm going to set this aside really quick. And then, oh, but I'm going to need the lid off that, drying that. Um, so we'll throw the, the coats on these guys. Um, and then they'll be drying, and then maybe, maybe it'll be done before we're done with the video. Um, so yeah, we're going to be kind of hopping around because obviously we have dry time and whatnot. Um, and I was pretty liberal with this. Um, and it's kind of, the antique Mod Podge is kind of running all on its own. So, and I'm not really worried about the edges because I, I, I'm, I think I have a plan for it. I'm probably out of frame right now, but, um, that I didn't check before I started the video. Um. I do notice with this antique Mod Podge that you kind of got to smooth out your br breast strokes. <laughs> Brush strokes. Oh my goodness. Already, we're not even two minutes into the video. Woohoo. Um, yeah. So just go ahead and finish it off with some longer brush, brush strokes. Yeah, I didn't know you'd be uh, taking a swimming course today, did you? Um, yeah, so I might actually order another one because look at how much I've used I've actually used quite a bit of this stuff um, I as much as it stinks I gotta tell you I love the results 
And um, I think I just ordered mine off of Amazon. Um, and I don't know if knowing the SKU would help. And I don't think it was too much. I think it was like, it might have been $8. And since I, I don't have Amazon Prime because I typically try to shop local. If I can't find it local, then I'll shop at Amazon. But I try to do as much as possible with like local local stores. Um, just keep, I don't want to say funds in-house, but maybe, right? Um, I like the small shops. I do pay a little bit more at my small shops, but you know, that's okay. I'm all right with that. Cause I'd rather, I'd rather have the convenience of just, you know, being able to be in town and, and shop at those places. And if you don't, then they go out of business and then, you know, you know, you know, you guys have plenty of those kind of things going on in your lives too. All right. So there's that. And then, um, I'm going to go ahead and remove the lights out of this thing. They just pop up, pull out. Um, and it looks like a mess right now, right? So I'm like, there's some finger marks and stuff like that, but I'm going to show you it's not going to matter. I promise it won't matter. Um, cause then the, de oh, the decorating comes in and I'm not sure we may end up having to, um, um, Oh, now I lost my train of thought. Oh, bother. Okay, and the image that's in here is, I think I showed you guys before, that is um, one that comes in her kits. And gosh darn it, I usually start all my videos out with the kits so that you kind of know what you're getting. And the last couple, I haven't. And I, I blame it on the accountant brain versus the crafter brain. Um, I, I will admit this, this season's been a little difficult um, as far as um, being able to transition between the two. Like I'm finding more and more I have to wait like a day or two before I can um, uh, go back. Like so if I craft on on Sunday, I'm still like a little slow. <laughs> um, Monday um, with tax stuff so I don't know I like it's definitely it uses several different kinds of your your uh, brain I mean left and right brain right yeah so and I am putting it a little heavy on here that'll be totally cool and I don't know if you guys don't want to see wine bottles again just tell me like it's one of those crafts that you either love it or you have no interest. Um, this is actually, this led me to junk journaling, believe it or not. Um, yeah, I want, you know how one thing leads to another? Well, yeah, that's, that's how I got started in the junk journaling is because there's so many supplies that I've used with the bottles that I have been able to use with my journals. And so, yeah, I have a lot of fun with both of them. And, um, Paul has talked me into loading a lot of my other bottles that I've made. There's a lot of shabby chic. There's some um, dragon type in there. Some lit, some painted, you know, just a kind of a variety. And so, yeah, look for those this spring. And I might do a video on them. Again, it's kind of one of those things I may or may not. I don't know. I've been kind of drag dragging my feet because honestly with... Etsy, I'm getting kind of frustrated because, you know, like they said, oh, do the free shipping and we'll advertise your shop. Well, my sales went down after that. And I'm not the only one that kind of felt that way. I don't know. Maybe others have a different experience with that, but I didn't. Um, that and, um, you know, listing cost, and then you have to pay a seller's fee, right? Which I don't, I don't generally mind any of that. But it's just, yeah, I'm not always crazy about all of that. And then I don't know if it's everybody's Etsy, but like it literally, it doesn't matter what internet I'm on. I could be in town and have like great reception and it still takes me like 40 minutes to do one listing. So, okay, so we'll set that aside. 
Oh, no, I lied. I'm going to do just a little bit more here. And this one is a little bit heavier than I did on the journals. And I think I want it that way. Because they look, they look pretty bright, right? Like just on their own. I'm kind of hoping there's a little bit of a thing here. So we'll just really put it on that spot. Okay. Sorry about leaving the screen there for a minute, guys, but I had to set that down. And then I'm going to go ahead and wipe this up. It, um, a little bit because then I think like I said I've made some ephemera because I think I literally could probably take like two months to do this whole video series on just like different things you can do with this mermaid kit um oh no oh god I'm such an idiot sometimes so I set the bottle down over there right well then I uh Oh, and I'm bumping you guys. God. I tell you, this week has just been weird. And then I totally drug the bot of the thing down on it. The bag of wipes. And I hadn't been using wipes, but then uh, I picked up some of the cheap ones at Walmart the other day. Mostly so that if we were in public with the puppy and she messed, that I would have something to clean it up. Because they're for like the first couple of days until her good food got into her system. Because the, um, she wasn't on the best puppy food before, so now she is. But, um, so now our bowels are kind of regulated and the deworming's out of her. So, yay for solid puppy poop. <laughs> Just saying. Anyhow, um, yeah. So that all said, where was I going? Oh, I wanted to see what would happen. Okay, I'm gonna pull this back. And so, yeah, it's it's almost dry. So you can kind of see how it changed um, the colors. Like uh, anything that was bright, it kind of muted it down. So yay, we like that. Okay, so I'm gonna set that up here. And I've already done this little one here. Like made it into a pocket. It's just a background page from the kit. And I have never like, I mean, obviously we've all mod podged, right? But I've never antiqued cardstock, so I kind of wanted to see what would happen if we did, and see what kind of result we got. Cause you know it's only paper, right? And I can reprint it. Um. Yeah. So I am using two, both mermaid kits and the mermaid quotes. I'm really hoping that this doesn't curl. And what I'm also, I already inked it, and so kind of what I'm hoping is that the, the Mod Podge kind of drags the, the Distress Ink a little bit, like it does on covers sometimes. And then I could probably show you a couple of other little things that I've done before we go to the break to where everything is dry. I think I might like that, actually. Okay, so let me grab those really quick. Okay, so these are also drying. So what I did is I made this little um, envelope here. Oh, and look, it's stuck a little bit. That's all right. Okay. So I just took one of the ephemera pieces and cut out a circle. I made um, this little circle here of a mermaid. And then I just glossy accented, right, um, the little mermaid tail in the picture. So that's like a little envelope that we're going to put in there. And that actually feels pretty dry. So we'll stick it up there with the collecting ephemera and then this is going to be like an insert into the um, signature and so then it'll be um, like a little tuck here and I glossy accented the rocks and the tail I didn't do any of the rocks on this side 
because I wasn't sure what it what would happen. Um, so yeah, we might do that. And then I made an envelope out of one of the um, background pages. And so far, it's oh, and it's not dry. Darn it. Darn it. Okay. So um, we're gonna let that finish drying. And so I glossy accented that. And then when it's dry, I'm gonna take and do her tail. Um, and the glossy accents too. All right, so I'm gonna call this one part one of the entire video, and then when we come back, everything should be dry, and then I will um, splice together a couple more um, video pieces here. So, all right, I'll talk to you in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, I am back, and I wanted to show you the kits that I'm using. Um, we'll run through them real quick. Um, kind of out of order, isn't it? Okay, so I am using three of her kits. There's the mermaid um, quotes, and then <clears throat> there's the mermaid journal kit, I think is how it is, how it's put in there, and then there's a mermaid ocean in there. So um, I'll just flip through these really quick here, and you'll see how I'm using them here in just a minute, because I've got the signatures kind of ready. I guess I should check to make sure I'm in frame, huh? Because it kind of changes every time I put my phone up there. <clears throat> so in this kit, you get uh, the quotes on different colors. And there's 12 pages to this kit. So lots and lots and lots of stuff. And um, when I was reading through some of them, not everyone, um, it, not everyone is like specifically mermaid. It also... Um, or it can be um, interpreted as ocean too, um, in general, I think. Like, if you're looking for good oceany ones, this one's pretty, pretty stellar kit. Like I said, it comes on different papers here. And again, it um, my printer decides to print in whichever order it wants to, so. All right, so those are the quotes. And then um, you'll have to go and check out the um kits because like i said my printer won't just print it, it's just nuts anyways um so in each kit there is tags and some ephemera but i'm sorry i don't remember exactly which ephemera goes with which kit so um there's 17 pages in each kit and that includes the ephemera too okay so you have some tags some lined papers, and this one's got the ocean bottom, or like rocks, or um, that's what it looks like to me, and then the mermaid's tail. There's some aligned. And see, like I said, it, it like keeps printing like crazy out of order. So, and then here's some more of the ephemera here. collage page, some journaling tags, and I have two favorite background pages in these kits, and this is one of them. I mean, I love, don't get me wrong, I love the entire kit, but my absolute favorites is that one, and then when we get to the other one, I'll show you. It's all just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. this way huh bubbles this one this is my other favorite it's got the ship and then the mermaid's tail and then um, obviously the ship is in a storm and um, one of their barrels fell over, or fell overboard, I should say. Some more lined backgrounds. And this one's got the little shell in it. And um, I'm sure you've kind of noticed there's some like mermaid -y tail type tails through there. 
Okay, then you get some more journaling cards here. Another page of ephemera. And I, you know what, this won't air until Monday. Another ephemera page here. Um, but, and um, just so you know, this is all printed on regular printer paper and it's as vibrant on any any paper that I've printed it on. Um, so I was gonna maybe pull one of the signatures over here. We'll go back to like the map page. This is printed on um, presentation paper and this is regular copy paper. See, there's really not not a whole lot of difference any, on any of that. Um, and then the pieces we were working on before is on cardstock. So, yeah. I do like the way that prints. And I'm kind of on puppy duty and she's not, she's not in a kennel. She's playing with Jessie. And she was kind of tired, so I'm hoping that she naps. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I just love love that too. Just the colors. And then um, another page of tags. Okay, so that is the three kits that we are using for this one. Okay, so these are pretty much dry. And um, yeah, this is how the other sides turned out. And um, now I need to decide which sides I'm using for for which. Um, I think ultimately I'm going to use this for the back cover and probably this for the front. Yeah, but those can be on the inside. And um, I'm not worried about any of the edges because um, we're going to do something with it. I don't know what yet, but um, <clears throat> yeah. So and then here's our little spine piece here. Okay, so, and then I wanted to show you the progress of the wine bottle. Um, so yeah, there's, it's starting here um, to kind of like layer up and change colors and whatnot. So now we're down to decorating um, the outside. And like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna run through that. Um, and I think, cause I'm gonna need a lot of time for this. So, oh, let me show you one other thing, because I think, I think I'll have enough for the video. So this is what that turns out like with the antique Mod Podge on it. So just to kind of give you a reference, those were about the same color background because it came off the same. Um, this was one of the background pages that I showed you that was like my favorite. So this is, this is the exact same blues. And so that's what it turns out like when you um, use Antique Mod Podge on it. So yeah, I got to say it's a fan favorite for me on that one. And I may, since this is a pocket, I may go ahead and do that one too. All right. So um, I am going to, what am I going to do? Um, I think I'm going to stop the video now um, and then I'll record the next one, which you probably won't see till Tuesday. But in that one, then um, Tuesday's video, I'm going to pull out my template to poke, or not poke, but punch the holes in this. And then we'll get started on the spine and sewing in. So just beware, that video will probably be a little bit longer than the 30 minutes I usually do, or 30 to 45 minutes. It will probably be close to an hour. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this and I know that this one was probably dull kind of getting started and showing you where I'm at so uh, I'm sorry if you're bored um, I promise the next few ones will be um, pretty interesting so um, yeah I will talk to you guys really soon all right bye guys